Pepper Senior Dog Sanctuary is a forever home for elderly dogs who need special care and comfort in their final days. Just over a week ago, the nonprofit opened their stunning new sanctuary in Roxborough Park. Today, we welcome the founder, Mary Laprino, to talk all about peppers. Mary, thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. And of course, full disclosure, I want to let everyone know that I am on the board. Honored to be a very small part of this incredible organization and spread the word on the work that you guys are doing. So first and foremost, tell me about our guest of honor right now, Mary. This is Miss Sophia, and Sophia is um, from DDFL. We rescued her a little bit over a year ago. Um, she has a severe heart murmur, but is doing really well with us. She recently lost an eye due to oh. glaucoma, but she's doing great and really thriving with and us. She's dressed up and she's so chill. She's very she's fancy. So sweet. You obviously ha are getting more dogs as we go, 10 yeah. days into opening the doors of the new sec sanctuary, roughly. So right. tell me what Peppers is all about. I know this started with your Pomeranian. So right. share with us that story and 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 yeah, what, what's happening at the sanctuary right now? So Peppers came about because I adopted a, a really crazy little um, Pomeranian named Pepper and he was just magical and very unloved in his previous life. And um, he and I bonded spectacularly. And um, he walked me through some uh, some tough times and I knew that when he passed that I was going to pay it forward. I didn't know how, yeah. um, but I worked with my niece, Lee Sullivan, and, and my son, Justin Clemmer, to develop a plan and that's how Peppers came about. Um, and peppers, we adopt from um, high kill shelters, yeah. only shelters. We don't take owner surrenders. We take the um, dogs that are basically unadoptable. They've been in probably six, seven shelters before um, because of medical needs or maybe some behavioral problems. They are not suitable for a standard adoption. So that's where we come in. Um, sometimes we're a hospice. Yeah. Sometimes these dogs are with us for a number of years. Um, and they are just loved until the very, very end. We have an on-site medical clinic, yeah. so they never have to leave. Um, they are cared for by a wonderful staff and lots of volunteers. And the sanctuary is just so stunning. You all absolutely need to come check it out when you get the time. Mary, I want you to share with everyone what support do you guys need right now with, with just being less than two weeks from opening your doors? So right now, our biggest needs are um, things that are items that are on our Amazon wish list and also donations that, that you can find um, a link to, to get to from our website. Okay. Um, um, we are a publicly funded 501c3, and so um, we do rely on those those donations, and we're very yeah. grateful, and um, we're excited to be able to, to share the facility and, and take care of some really wonderful souls. Oh, absolutely, Mary. Thank you so much again for joining us, and little Sophia. Sophie? Sophie, so Sophia. Sophie, Sophia. And for all of you, if you want more information about Peppers in your dog sanctuary and how you can help out, like Mary said, go to psds.org.